another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. Um, we're going to get into the the big announcement, uh, Lee Wood and uh, Mauricio Laura Part 2, uh, at their first fight uh, just uh, a month and a half ago. Uh, before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, or all forms of social media. Uh, quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Please also subscribe. To the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's big show. Uh, Mauricio Lara uh, is going to uh, destroy Lee Wood again. Yes, um, and, and this, this is what I want to get into. And, and me and my co-host on MCR Podcast, Matt Hunter, into this. We talked about this. Um, first, I, I want to um, share a boxing uh, social article, which I, I found intriguing. Um, I'm going to link this in the description too, but you can see this here. If you read it here, it says, um, where is it? Lee Wood was ahead on all three judges' scorecard and well on his way to victory before Marisa Laura produced a frightening left hook to end the proceedings early. All right, so there's, there's two, two, two things there that they put into one. Law, uh, Lee Wood was ahead on all three judges' scorecard. Indisputable facts. Can't debate that. He was ahead on all three judges' scorecards, as you can see in the thumbnail. <laughs> okay? He was well on his way to victory. That is absolutely ridiculous. He was not well on his way to victory uh, because this is uh, prize fighting, and he got knocked out. So there's no way he was well on his way to victory. And this is what we're talking about. So both guys were doing what they were wanting to do. Lee Wood was scoring points and winning rounds. Uh, Maurice Laura was losing the battle and winning the war and then destroyed him. And then uh, Lee Woods' corner had to throw the talon because it was so brutal and so vicious. To say that he's win- And this is going to happen. And I'm not picking. Like, I'm, this is going to happen to Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia is going to be up on points when Tank Davis knocks him out. Like, guys, this is a 12-round fight. It doesn't have to go 12 rounds. You can end at any point. And, and, and to say he was well on his way to victory. But he was being systematically broken down and timed by an amazing pressure fight, an amazing infighter. It's a ridiculous comment. And this is why me and Matt Hunter were talking about this on MCR Podcast. Um, we, we were talking about this. You, you can go to Texas Boxing Scene, you, go, you, you go to Mixed Combat Radio, and, and you can hear the full audio and the full context. This is like two different sports. Okay, You got the, the British guys, and, and no shade on, on the UK guys. There's boxing who's trying to win rounds. And then you you got these other guys who are trying to break you and trying to destroy you, and they're both doing what they want to do. And when that happens, who wins the fight? The guy that's looking to destroy you is going to win that fight. It's it's not difficult, right? And you know, we're going to get Conlon um, versus Luis Alberto Lopez, and we shouldn't get that because Luis Alberto Lopez is going to break him, right? Like Luis Alberto Lopez – is going to break down and beat up Mick Conlon. That's going to happen. So we shouldn't get those two fights. We should get um, Conlon versus Lee Wood, because we know that's a good fight. And we should get Luis Alberto Lopez against Mauricio Lara, because that would be a good fight, right? And uh, Laura's the best guy in this equation. He's going to beat all those guys, right? Like, they put Josh Warrington into him. He's going to destroy Josh Warrington. You put him in with with Mick Conlon, he's going to destroy Mick Conlon. Over time, it's going to take time. He's going to break him down. And it's the same thing I said about Caleb Plant. I said, Caleb Plant wants to beat Benavides. He's got to be up big in the first half of the fight. You can go back and listen to the order. He's got to be up 5-1. And then in the second half of the fight, he's got to be able to steal a round or two, right? He's got to dent him. He's got to slow him down. He's got to stand in and spot. He's got to take his shots to slow him down. Hit him in the solar plexus. Hit him in the body. Slow him down. Take his gas out. Flurry, flurry, flurry. Tie him up, right? You're not going to run for 12 rounds, right? Like, there's no possible way that Caleb Plant could win, could beat Benavidez 
going backwards. There was no way Caleb Plant could beat Canelo going backwards, predominantly only going backwards. It's not going to happen. Never, ever in 100 million years. Never, ever in 100 million years can Lee Wood beat Laura going backwards. He's got to dent him. He's got to slow him down. He's got to hurt him. And he's not looking to do that. He's looking to win a bunch of rounds. And he can win a bunch of rounds, and then he's going to get knocked out. And then he's going to get ridiculous boxing social articles that say he was up on all three spoke cards. Yes, he was. And well on his way to victory. No, he was not. Those are two those, those two things don't go together. He was not well on his way to victory when he's being timed and he's being systematically broken down. I don't care what the scorecards are. We're not going the distance. And this is a fundamental difference in the sport. One guy is treating it like the Olympic, like he's trying to score points, and the other guy is trying to break your ribs and destroy you. It's it, it, this is like, and, and Eddie Hearn doesn't get this either. Like I, I said, this when he when he puts if he puts Ola Jones in the ring with Jorge Castaneda, Jorge Castaneda is going to beat the snot out of him, right? Like it's just the way that it is. You can't sit there and run. You're not, and Floyd Mayweather is not, especially older Floyd. He's not running for twelve rounds. He's in the pocket. Right, picking the spots. Right, pull counter. In order to pull counter, you you got to be within punching range. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Right, it's 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 distance deception, but you you got to run. And the other thing is, look, first of all, boxing social. Lee Wood has how many late knockouts? How, how many late late round knockouts? Son, uh, Susan, right? Um, I, I, obviously Conlon. Mole, like he got a ton of late knockouts. But see, why are you acting like if you have uh, a points lead after half the fight, you're on your way to winning that fight? No, we got a whole lot of fight left. And 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 you know who didn't have a whole lot of fight left? Lee Wood, because he's tired and being timed from running. So now Mauricio Laura is just gonna chop him down. I'm not saying it's easy work, but it's gonna happen because Mauricio Laura is good at it. Like, I, I don't get it. Like, doesn't anyone look at this? Doesn't any of these guys say, yes, my skill is on the outside. My skill is boxing. That needs to be the fundamental part of my game plan. But I can't just do one thing and think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat a world-class pressure fighter because it's not going to happen. And it keeps not happening. And everyone thinks, like, they're Arisande Laura. You're not. Laura can hit. Laura stays in the pocket and picks his shots. Right, and he's and Laura's way better, way more athletic, and he's way hard. Laura's left hand is dynamite, dynamite. Lee Lee Wood doesn't hit like that. Josh Warrington doesn't hit like that. Caleb Plant doesn't hit like that. Ota Jones doesn't hit like that. I mean, these guys are different. They're they're different. Like they're, 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 you can write this down unless there's some weird technical decision or, you know, no contest because there's some headbutt, right? There's a headbutt in the first fight, right? It, it, outside of these bizarre things, that could happen, but probably not. Laura's going to stop Wood again. And and Alberto's going to, and Luis Alberto Lopez is going to stop Conlon. Like, we already know how this is going to end. Conlon couldn't survive 12 rounds with Lee Wood. How's he going to survive 12 rounds with Luis Alberto Lopez? Guys, stop. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. And Josh Warrington is better than Conlon. And, and Warrington couldn't beat uh, Luis Alberto Lopez. In his backyard, he couldn't get a decision over him. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, on all forms of social media. Again, Quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. I keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. It is April 2nd, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.